All right, a little bit earlier in the show, Chef Sally had to make this marry me chicken, and it's still in the oven. We're giving it a little bit of extra travel time, mm -hmm. but we've got some things to do before, Nicole. You know you're, what I'm saying? You're still single, but once you I'm have a bite. I'm still single, but once I get a bite of this, you, you never, never know. know. I could yeah. be married at the end of the show. Exactly. Um, I, I, you know, what I wanted to ask is, how, how, you have a temperature thermometer. Yes. And you put it in the chicken. Yes. How long, how, where do you get that? Any any cooking store? Oh, yeah, Amazon, any... I don't know where you get Target. any of that. I've never even heard of this. <laughs> some you've never heard of any thermometer? Grocery well, stores? Well, I've never used it. I've yes, heard of yeah, it, but I've never used it. I've used it. It's starting to crack. And we want 165 for the chicken, right? Yes. Okay. Sometimes I'll pull it at about 155 mm -hmm. and then let it rest, and then it will still... Really? Yeah. I mean, technically, it should be 165, okay. so don't listen to that, okay? All right, very good. <laughs> all right, okay. I'm, and unfortunately, you I ate all the... You don't want to really dry. You could let it sit. Yeah, you don't want it to overcook. Right, I get right. it. Unfortunately, the, oh, go I ahead. ate all the shredded cheese. I'm sorry. Oh, you yeah. did? So we're going to do some more. No worries. Yeah, and then for garnishing, I just have some fresh parsley with my Japanese knife here, which does really well with chopping up here. Look that is that. a beautiful That's knife. So beautiful. Isn't that cool? It even has a case. Yes, this. and I was telling you that I take that out to the garden so I don't stab myself on my way walking down <laughs> yeah. to the garden, so it's got its own little nifty case. So I've got some fresh parsley and then I have some fresh basil. Wow, that parsley is fresh. so it's potent. Yeah. It's so fragrant. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. Some people people don't really like basil as much as or um, uh, parsley you as they smell do. This. Nicole, smell this. As they do, it like smells cilantro. Smells like marinara okay. sauce. Oh wow! And doesn't that smell like pizza and marinara? Now I need some mozzarella cheese. Exactly. Yeah. I'm gonna go oh, wow. test that chicken. All right. Okay. And Nicole and I, we're gonna continue to tap dance. <laughs> da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Do you want? You can tread da -da 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 -da. some of that uh, parmesan. Oh, okay. Bring oh. that plastic thing over here. Oh, the the cheese that you the all cheese that I already ate. Yes. Yeah, That's we're why we're shredding, because he ate it. <laughs> we're going to need some fresh. <laughs> oh, my God. You need some am, I doing, am I doing this all right? Oh, yeah, oh look, it's working. Oh, it's okay. actually working. There you go. This is the first time he's shredded cheese, lady and gentlemen. I think it really is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right, we're good. All we're right. being okay. here for a week if we did a cooking site. Did you imagine? I'm right behind you, super, super hot. All right, okay. here we okay. go. Move this. Oh. And we're good oh, right here. Allie, that looks so amazing. So this is the one I was temping, and we'll be ch checking that one out for you. Guys. Okay, terrific. So what we, what I usually do now, you can serve this from oven to table. Just make sure you have a hot plate, heat protector, yeah. And then we'll just do some fresh parsley. Oh, so you put it on right in the pan? Yeah, and then fresh basil, because if you are serving this right to the table, you can serve it right out of here. That Look at that. So good, and that and melts you know, right away. It's kind of nice to plate your meals. Too, right, right. Know? Oh, absolutely. A lot of chefs do that. That's why I'm not married. I don't plate. So, <laughs> so this is fully cooked, okay. and that didn't take long. See? No, that was that's that beautiful. That delicious. And the searing, the, pr the prior searing mm. helps with the the cooking process because it cooks it all, you know, partially. And then you'll get, I'll get some sauce for you. Thank I'll make you. Make sure you guys can try that for sure. And again, this came together. In literally five Spoon minutes, and then something. the baking time was the only extra thing that we had mm -hmm. going on. Let's see if I can pour so some. So it's sauce. very easy, huh? Very it simple. It is very easy. Let me try to pour some sauce okay. for you. Thank you. Oh, wow. look at that beautiful oh. sauce. Look at that. I want a side of sauce with that sauce. Oh my God, that looks amazing. <laughs> okay. All right, here we I don't go. I know if you're going to marry me, okay? <laughs> I'm married. And what is, is this is seriously what you call it is marry me chicken? Marry me chicken and I usually serve it with some like little red potatoes and then a green um, or a salad. Um, Allie. This is delicious. Thanks. I can't believe tomatoes. there's cottage cheese in this. Mm. Yeah, you would never know. Right? Never know. The sauce is delicious. Mm. Yeah. yeah, you'd think it was made with cream, right? Yeah, a white heavy, sauce heavy like cream, that? right. Mm. And the Half sun dried tomatoes. tomatoes. Yeah. Oh. Where did you come up with this recipe? Well, I've seen it on like Pinterest and stuff, but okay. it was always like full fat this, full fat that. I'm like, I need to get this lower and healthier and Weight, Watch Weight Watchers friendly and calorie friendly. Yeah, how many friendly. points? I mean, this, this has got to be negligible. Um, I think it's about six points because of the f f fat free half and half. And cottage cheese, does, cottage cheese does have points, but it's lower in points, but higher in protein. Too. So you get extra protein with the chicken and the cottage cheese and the chicken stock. Mm. So it's a very protein friendly. And maybe meal. somebody who's watching us for the first time on Great Day Night, tell them about your personal journey. Yeah, I started a weight loss journey in 2019. I lost 100 pounds in a little over a year. After our youngest was born, that's when I kind of decided uh, I needed to get some 
I need to change my myself. I couldn't keep up with my kids. I was not happy. So this is you, and then you put yeah. your dress on after you lost the weight? And he, yes, and he is still in my life. He's just not in this picture. <laughs> <laughs> and Thank God, right? It's important to note that that change, the, uh, the weight loss came with just how you ate, right? Yes, it yeah, I didn't exercise. I didn't exercise at all. The only exercise is keeping up with my three kids, two dogs. Which and is a lot of exercise. Right, yeah, right. it is. But you just got to keep on moving, stay, you know, focused and tracked on your plan you're following, mm -hmm. and it'll come right off. All right. And make my food. All right, you can find all of Allie's um, recipes on social media. Her recipes on our website. It's uh, chefalliskitchen.com or um, and Chef Allie's Kitchen at, at Chef Allie's Kitchen. That's the Instagram. On Instagram, yes. Instagram yeah. Yeah. And we also have a link on the Channel 3 app under our Great Day page, too, so you can maybe marry someone yeah, with your chicken. Get married. If I made that, maybe somebody <laughs> would marry me. All right.